I'm curious. I get a good number of emails um, from writers that are in Iran. And, you know, it sounds like the political situation is such that they don't feel like they can get their material out there. And I always wonder, what is your advice to people living back in Iran or, or any country where the government is maybe a little repressive and doesn't let people kind of create, you know, artistic works? Um, what are those people, what, what, what do you recommend for those types of, of folks that are stuck in, in a situation like that? The thing is, there is a big difference between filmmaking in Iran and here. I mean, I can tell you the good thing and the bad thing. I mean, the, the mm-hmm. obviously, there are political restrictions and you have problem in, you know, making certain movies. But one thing Iran has that we don't have here is that's how a lot of the art house films are made. They are, in fact, with government subsidies. Mm-hmm. You know, most films that, you know, Iranian art house films, they got you know, some kind of a government subsidy, which we don't have. So what they don't realize is that they think that if they come to U.S., people, they just write check and they make their movie. Because here, I find it incredibly hard, as you know, to find investment for your movie. So each system has its own advantage and disadvantage. But uh, in terms of they are stuck there, well, scripts are not. Stock. I mean, you can always send it to production companies or agencies or producers. Mm-hmm. So if they really think that the script is good, they can always send it to people. And I believe that if the script is good, there are people who will be interested in, in noticing it. Mm-hmm. The problem is uh, sometimes it's not just a good script. Is it marketable? Yeah. As you know. You know, you may have a good script, but who wants to see the film? Filmmaking is very expensive, mm-hmm. and we are in a commercial world. So uh, I found that the problem with some of these scripts is that they are very, how can I say, personal and local. And it doesn't, I mean, one thing about American film is that you are making that film for U.S. market, you're making for the whole world. Mm-hmm. So there's stories, can that story travel? You know, so, um, you know, this is this yeah. is the reality of it. You find yeah, something yeah. that, you know, people, investors have to get their money back. You know, so, um, yeah. so my advice to everybody is that is, is not just think that's good. It's like people come to me and they have projects that say it's a great film. And I say, what's the budget? I say $20 million. I'm saying, but who wants to spend that money in this market and how are you going to get that money back? Well, I'm just mm. a writer. Well, you can't just be a writer, you know? Yeah. You have to think about, I mean, uh, in this movie, I Without Face, obviously I thought that, uh, you know, kind of thriller horror is a particular genre that has an audience. Mm-hmm. But uh, you have to have the budget. No, I mean, uh, one director that I worked with him and I produced his, uh, his first film brought me a very good script. But I said to him, this film will be at least 10 to $15 million. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be very hard to find 10 to $15 million for a horror film in this market. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.